Hi, it's Nancy Muller, the National Association for Continents, reporting from the Southeastern Wildlife Exhibition here in Charleston, South Carolina, where we're also headquartered. We're opening the mailbag again. And one of the questions that we get asked periodically is about a neurogenic bladder. We had a lady who called the other day and said that her doctor had told her that she has a neurogenic bladder and she wanted to know just what that meant. Well, neurogenic bladder is a medical term for a bladder that is affected by a disease of the central nervous system or some condition or damage to the peripheral nerves of the body that sends signals to and from the bladder, impairing the function of the bladder. So what are some examples of a neurogenic bladder or diseases or conditions that cause that? Well, someone with a spinal cord injury would have a neurogenic bladder and uh, have either difficulty contracting the bladder and emptying the bladder or may not get signals at all that the bladder is full and therefore not know when the bladder needs to be emptied and thus need to do intermittent self-catheterization. Another example of a neurogenic bladder would be spasms that occur in connection with a disease like multiple sclerosis or even Parkinson's disease. Those are examples of a neurogenic bladder as well. We have great booklets at NAFC that give all sorts of explanations and details and information about specific diseases and conditions such as those I just named, spinal cord injury, continence care for people living with multiple sclerosis, and still another booklet for people living with Parkinson's disease. You can view a slide review of those booklets right on our website at www.nafc.org or call us at 1-800-BLADDER to order a copy for yourself. And next time you're in Charleston, be sure that you schedule your visit this time of year, the third weekend of February, to be part of the exciting Southeastern Wildlife Exhibition. So signing off, bye now.